Hey Tom, uh, my name's Daniel Batchelor. Um, thank you so much for applying to the email. Um, as I said in the email, I'm just gonna uh, do you a free social media audit. Um, well, essentially what we do is we help uh, you know, businesses and individuals grow and sustain a social media presence. We work on social media strategy, uh, Facebook advertising, Facebook content creation, Instagram content creation, Instagram growth. Um, those are the main areas in which we focus. We can also branch into Twitter, into neighborly and a few other social medias depending on the niche but for you uh, I would say it's uh, Facebook and Instagram which are the most important for your business um, the reason I say that is because you're in such a visual uh, niche you know logo creation helping with our uh, business branding it's such a um, you know everyone wants to see your work and that's why the first thing that pops into mind is Instagram that's why I'm on here on your website looking at some of the stuff you've done in the past and this is this is all uh, this is great this can all be uh, used in on an Instagram so I'd really just like to make you up an Instagram it could be done super quick we could get you a few hundred followers and within a month I'm pretty confident about that um, just because the quality of your work is so high and it's um such visual content and it's you're not trying to uh, sell anything you're just promoting the work you do so um in that sense of the word Instagram is just perfect for you um, so yeah, I would first and foremost um, put you on Instagram. That is, um, from my point of view, being a social media marketer, that is fundamental. Um, and it's going to be great for your personal brand, for the Tom Newton brand. Um, and I see you also have work doing digital marketing plans. Um, obviously, we do social media marketing, so it's something we're you know, heavily invested in and um, we could help you with. Um, but that's that's on another tangent um, but yeah I'll just continue with the social media audit so yep definitely Instagram is gonna be a very big one I'll show you um, someone's Instagram who we one of our clients uh, let's go let's go sound travels we just started working with um, sound travels uh, about a just under a month ago um, hold on I'll find them this is I'll find their social media <coughs> here we go um, so sound travels when we got them a month ago they were probably at 200 followers 300 followers now no it was probably around 350 so I've got them you know 400 400 450 followers in a you know just over a month so it's pretty good we do pride ourselves on our Instagram um, but just to show you you being a creative individual this is we try to go for a cohesive theme with our clients Instagram whilst inserting call to action for uh, the services which you offer so you always with social media we always got to give value give value give value which is the form of great content um, what the audience wants to see before we ever ask for any value back which is signing up to my email list check out my website um, buy my product check out my uh, my self-promotion that sort of thing so we always give value give value give value and then take some value just a basic social media principle there um, moving on to your Facebook page I'm just gonna go through tell you what you're doing well what you could improve on and uh, my overall feel um, so what I uh, like the cover photo it's just some you know a basic uh, design of yours um, I would change your uh, like your profile photo sorry I'll change your cover photo to something more personal uh, maybe a photo of you and I saw um, in the contact us but there was a photo of you and your son so I would say oh maybe it wasn't the contact it was a, about in the about section there was a photo of you and your son I think yeah here yeah. so I'll change this photo put a photo similar to this um, in your cover photo because it's about uh, be, you know social media Facebook especially is about connecting with the viewer or connecting with the uh, potential lead or individual who's looking at your uh, page I'll give you a like there um, so I would like a photo of you and your son would be great um, you could have your uh, logo watermarked in the corner or your email address or phone number also in the photo you know I'm sure you have great Photoshop skills you could do that simply enough um, so yeah just think about the cover photo when somebody comes to your Facebook page if they're gonna be on your Facebook page for a very small amount of time um, you know let's say five ten seconds try have an image there which they're going to remember 
Um, yeah, so I'm sure you're quite familiar with that sort of uh, that sort of design, those sort of concepts, which I'm talking about. So just something that you're going to remember. If someone's going to look at it um, for a small period of time, you know, see your face, see who you are, um, a bit of your bit of your profile photo work here. And that's pretty much all we need to be going for. But yep, I'll change this cover photo up. Scrolling down, so you got 340 likes. Happy with all the information you've filled out here. Best way to get the number of likes up here is using Facebook ads. If you don't know what Facebook ads are, they are, in my opinion, the most powerful form of advertising there is. Um, if you're going to you know, advertise yourself on a billboard or on the radio or in the newspaper, you are paying a set fee uh, for that uh, ad to have a certain number of impressions based on however many people hear the ad or see the newspaper or whatever form it is. Facebook advertising is a bit different because we only pay for people uh, to see our ads we want them to. So if you are advertising your logo service, maybe you want to uh, target small business owners or startups or um, whatever type of uh, products you want to be selling. Um, it could be uh, digital marketing services or uh, branding. So we could create create a Facebook ad campaign targeting small business owners, entrepreneurship uh, people, people who work in the marketing, who have a job title, marketing manager, or uh, communications manager, or uh, operations manager, or CEO. Um, these are interests which you can target on Facebook and we can also target by age so we would want to be targeting people you know aged 21 to or 20 to you know 50, 60 55 um, those are probably the most important age range for you and they have the interests of entrepreneurship uh, marketing branding being a marketing manager all those sort of things um, uh, and we can also target by gender uh, but we would only target people in the Auckland region, um, you know, within a 30, 45 kilometer radius of where you're situated. So, because obviously you don't want to be driving out too far to get to jobs and whatnot. So you just be targeting a specific location for a specific amount of interests at a specific age range or gender if you want to, if you really understand your target audience. But I'm um, yeah, scrolling down, seeing you've got 15 reviews. Great. Always push for those reviews. More reviews is always good. 4.9 nothing but commend you for that um, that's great uh, as you might know photo and video content are what works best on Facebook according to the Facebook algorithm people want to see video content first and photo content second anything with just copy is not going to do well so like this uh, not many people are going to see this uh, people have very short attention spans nowadays so even reading something this long is going to put people off um, Imagine you're scrolling through your Facebook news feed, you're seeing hundreds of uh, stimulus coming into your mind, hitting, your, hitting you from all different angles of emotion and whatnot. So when you're scrolling down, you need to be thinking about what's going to catch the people um, who are in my target demographics interest the most. Um, and when you start to figure out what's working well, like it could be photos of uh, my personal life is great for my personal branding, the Tom Newton brand, so I'm going to post more uh, personal uh, pieces of content which are photo and video uh, based and that's gonna from maybe previous experience that's gonna provide the most traction and get the most engagement for you in turn get the most interest in what you're doing create leads get people asking questions and uh, ultimately generating more business for you um, another quick tip posting external li links like this is not always the uh, best but however it has got a good amount of likes for you here um, but just as a general rule uh, Facebook is like its own universe and it doesn't want to take people out of that Facebook universe so anything that uh, has an external link um, solely as the uh, content post is not going to get as much engagement as if it was keeping people within this Facebook universe so to say um, I saw another one here having it this is another external link um, the best way to do these sort of posts is to uh, take a screenshot or get upload this photo organically to uh, the post and then just have the URL in the copy of the post um, so then you're just uploading an image organically to Facebook and according to the algorithm that gets more traction or you could leave the URL in the comment section of your post just comment on your post itself so yep don't see you're getting some good engagement here because what I'm seeing is you're talking about uh, your personal life here and your audience is interested in your personal life. 
So I feel like these personal posts are getting much more engagement than uh, any other sorts of posts. So incorporating a personal touch with what you're doing is gonna be great for your branding going forward uh, using Facebook at least. Um, yeah, so that's my opinion. Um, see here, another one, personal life uh, coming through. Um, don't need to worry too much about uh, hashtags on Facebook. Hashtags are more of an Instagram thing on Facebook. It doesn't really work that way, but um, great, great uh, initiative trying it out there, but um, it's not overly necessary. Um, but yeah, scrolling through, you're, you're posting a decent amount. I like to see, uh, we for our clients, we create a minimum of four pieces of content per week, um, as well as running Facebook ads for whatever niche they're in. Um, but what I would like to see you do overall is fix that cover photo up, focus as much as you can on creating personal content, incorporating photo and video content in your posts, bringing your posting frequency up, getting your Instagram going, using Instagram hashtags, uh, posting some of your previous portfolio work to that Instagram, start getting followers, um, and that way it's going to launch you. And if we were to work with you, that's what we would do within our first month. Uh, we would have to meet with you first, come up with a social media strategy and how we can work together for that month. We want to take as much of that work out of your hands as possible. As you mentioned, you don't have the time for it. But um, we can work with you for a month, see how you feel, see if it's worthwhile for you continuing, or uh, maybe you want to do one month on, one month off, or one month on, three months off, and then another month on. We work with our clients in different ways, but um, it's always something to think about. It's up in the air. But look, you, um, you've you see, seen my face now. Um, this is what I do. I work in a small team of three, um, and we all, we all are semi-social media uh, not experts but it's what we're interested in and it's what we do and it's uh what we have our clients with so um if you have any questions with this tom i'm more than happy to answer them uh i actually i'm based in um mount eden so i live quite close to you i believe your business is in morningside um but yeah i'm local as well so that's always great uh yeah any questions you have um feel free to ask um and i'd love to hear your thoughts um cheers